Have you ever wondered how big our galaxy truly is? Well, it's not as simple as measuring the distance from point A to point B. When we talk about the size of our galaxy, we're venturing into a realm where our usual yardsticks fall short. Welcome to the awe-inspiring expanse of our galaxy. We call it the Milky Way, a swirling mass of stars, dust, and dark matter spanning a staggering 100,000 light years in diameter. To give you a sense of the scale, a light year is the distance light travels in one year, which is approximately 6 trillion miles or about 9.5 trillion kilometers. Now, imagine that distance multiplied 100,000 times. That's the breadth of our galaxy. But the Milky Way is not just about its impressive width. It's a flat spiral disk, about a thousand light years thick, with a central bulge that's around 10,000 light years. It's like an enormous cosmic pancake, sprinkled with around 200 billion stars, our sun being just one of them. Our galaxy is but a tiny speck in the grand scheme of the universe. There are billions of other galaxies out there, each with its own unique shape, size, and story. The Milky Way is part of a local group of galaxies that includes the Andromeda Galaxy, our nearest spiral galaxy neighbor, which is on a collision course with us. But don't worry, that's not due for another 4 billion years. As we stand on the brink of this cosmic abyss, it's easy to feel small and insignificant. But remember, we are part of this vast universe made from the same stuff as the stars. So as we dive into the numbers, prepare to have your mind expanded. How are you guys? It's Aaron Polo TV here. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my channel so you'll always be updated with my new videos like this. So let's get started. To begin to grasp our galaxy's size, we need to start with the basics. The universe is so vast that we need a whole different set of measurements to understand it. Let's dive into that. Consider the astronomical unit, or AU for short. This unit is based on the average distance from the Earth to the Sun, which is approximately 93 million miles. But even this gigantic distance is really just a drop in the cosmic ocean. Now let's talk about light years. A light year is the distance that light, the fastest thing in the universe, travels in the span of a year. Light can zip around the Earth seven and a half times in just one second. Imagine the distance it could cover in a year. That's about six trillion miles. To put that into perspective, let's say you want to take a road trip at 60 miles per hour from one end of a light year to the other. Buckle up because it would take you over 11 billion years to complete your journey without stopping. That's almost the age of the universe itself, but we're not done yet. When we speak about measuring our galaxy, we use the term kilo light years, which is a thousand light years. Our Milky Way galaxy, for instance, is about a hundred kilo light years across. These measurements might sound overwhelming, but they help us comprehend the enormity of distances in the cosmos. They tell us that our universe is not just big, it's mind-bogglingly vast. So, when we talk about the size of our galaxy, we're not just talking about a great expanse, we're talking about a realm so vast that it takes light, the fastest thing we know of, thousands of years to traverse. With these scales in mind, we can start to picture the size of our galaxy. Now let's venture into the heart of our galaxy. The Milky Way, our galactic home, is a colossal swirl of stars, gas, and dust, spanning an estimated 100,000 light years across. To put this into perspective, light, the fastest thing in the universe, traveling at a mind-boggling speed of approximately 186,000 miles per second would take 100,000 years to traverse from one edge of our galaxy to the other. Now let's draw a comparison to our own solar system. The distance from the Sun to Neptune, the furthest planet in our solar system, is about four light hours. That's right, hours. If we were to scale the Milky Way down so that the distance from the Sun to Neptune was just one inch, our galaxy would still be over two miles wide. But the Milky Way isn't just impressively large in terms of its physical dimensions, it's also densely packed with stars. Estimates suggest that there could be as many as 400 billion stars within its spiral arms. That's more than 50 stars for every person on Earth. Each of these stars, just like our Sun, could potentially host a system of planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. The sheer number of stars in our galaxy opens up the possibility for countless worlds, some of which could potentially harbor life as we know it. Yet, despite its immense size and the staggering number of stars it contains, the Milky Way is just one of an estimated two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? So, as we delve deeper into the heart of our galaxy, remember this. The Milky Way, as vast and star-filled as it is, represents just a tiny fraction of the universe. Our galaxy is a vast, star-filled expanse that is almost impossible to comprehend. But how does our galaxy compare to others in the universe? Well, let's start by saying that our celestial neighborhood, the Milky Way, is not the only galaxy out there. 
In fact, it's just one of an estimated two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. Yes, you heard that right, two trillion. Now think about this. The Milky Way is about 100,000 light years in diameter. A light year, as some of you may know, is the distance light travels in a year, which is about six trillion miles. So, in other words, if you were to travel at the speed of light, it would take you 100,000 years to cross our galaxy from one side to the other. That's quite a trip, isn't it? But here's the kicker. The Milky Way, as vast as it is, is not even close to being the largest galaxy out there. That title goes to IC 1101, a supergiant elliptical galaxy at the heart of the Abel 2029 galaxy cluster. It's about 50 times the size of the Milky Way and 2,000 times as massive. And let's not forget about galaxy clusters. These are gravitationally bound structures that can contain anywhere from hundreds to thousands of galaxies. The largest known galaxy cluster, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, is so big that it would take light about 10 billion years to travel from one end to the other. So, in the grand scheme of things, the Milky Way is just a small, albeit beautiful, part of a much larger cosmic tapestry. It's humbling, isn't it? To realize that our home, as immense as it seems to us, is but a tiny speck in the universe. So, our Milky Way, as immense as it is, is just a small part of an even larger cosmic picture. So where does this leave us, residing on a small planet in an immense galaxy? We find ourselves nestled within an arm of the Milky Way, our cosmic home, a galaxy so grand it holds a staggering 200 billion stars. Yet this is merely a fraction of the universe's expanse. Let's take a moment to consider the concept of the observable universe. The observable universe is the portion of the entire universe that we can potentially see from Earth. It's not just about the stars and galaxies we can see right now, but also those whose light is still traveling to us, stretching across the vast cosmic landscape. Imagine looking out into space, your view reaching further than any telescope, past our galaxy and into the great beyond. You would be looking back in time, witnessing the universe as it was billions of years ago. This is the magic of the observable universe. It's a time machine and a window into the past, showing us how the cosmos has evolved over time. As our technology advances, so does our understanding of the universe. We continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, probing deeper into the cosmos, and unraveling more of its mysteries. We're beginning to grasp the sheer scale of the universe, and with every discovery, our place within it becomes a little clearer. Yet it's humbling to realize just how small we are. Our planet, our solar system, even our galaxy, is just a minuscule piece of the grand cosmic jigsaw. We are a tiny part of something much larger, a mere blink in the infinite timeline of the universe. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, we are but a tiny speck in an unimaginably vast galaxy.